problem tells me we're dealing with a buffer, which means my first job is to find out what my weak acid is, what my weak base is. They may have just given them to me. They may be hiding in a salt. One of them might be hiding in the salt. The other one might already be there. We just have to look at what we have and figure it out. So looking at NH3, that's a weak base. It's one we've worked with a ton. Um, so we should just know that's a weak base. Your chart can confirm that. NH4Cl is a salt. I need to find, well, I already have a weak base. I need to find the weak acid hiding in the salt that should be the conjugate to NH3. That can also give you a hint as to how to dissociate it. I know I need the conjugate weak acid to this, so I know I need NH4. Therefore, Cl must be left over. That's my weak base. This is my weak acid. Sorry, the salt was that one. It's from here, I can either do a weak acid problem using NH... Ooh, I mislabeled. That's a salt. That's my weak acid. From here, I can either do a weak acid problem using NH4 or a weak base problem using NH3. I'm going to do a weak acid problem. I take my weak acid, not the salt, but the weak acid. I dissociate it, meaning an H falls off. And I set up my ice chart. My NH3 molarity is 1. That can go here. My NH4 plus molarity I don't directly have, but because it's a 1 to 1 ratio, the molarity of the NH4Cl will equal the molarity of my NH4. I can plug that into my ice chart and keep going. Now I chose to use my weak acid. I chose to do a weak acid problem. So I'm going to use a Ka for NH4. Is going to equal products over reactants. And again, the Ka is going to be the Ka for NH4. 5.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Solving for x. I get 4.48 times 10 to the negative 10. X represents my H plus. So negative logging my H plus will get me my pH. Nine point three five. I um, might, if you think about it, that we did a weak acid problem, we just got a pH above seven. That might feel weird. However, if this was a buffer. We had acid and base present, so we had no way of knowing before we started if it was going to end up acidic or basic. We also didn't need to. It's just when you get to this answer and you know you did a weak acid problem, realize for buffers, that's okay. For any other type of problem, that would be concerning.